and so many health issues today. Um, our environment is totally on trying to keep your health together. There's so much sickness that exists now. And it's even more important nowadays because, as I said, because the things are in sickness, people who are sick. So we the medical professional world in terms of how uh, drugs are prescribed to counter about what they're doing, not only for their sales, but for We find ourselves in a situation in this society and the old, most of the world in which people are in a sick care system. The system is not designed uh, to keep people and how to be in your true essence, then you'll be, you live in harmony with the universe. Mental Emancipation Day. Uh, full advantage of the understanding of who and Just what, what they happens, are. my half-brother has an institution in Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. dealing with medical malpractice because he lost a son based to that, and he sees a lot of that. And if we, I think it's a great idea. I think a, a more of us is about what our medical care is supposed to be about, and it has seemed to wrong in my health. Their interest is based upon what's good for them. And when I learned about the pharmaceutical company, <laughs> we needed, huh? <laughs> we got nothing. <laughs> So anytime you have nothing in anything, you emancipate you yourself in medical mental slavery day. I hope I see. From allopathic medicine, which is strictly dependent on something. And with my life, and when you get to a certain point in your life, you well, where I am now. What the society has said is the way that I must. I hope I look back. I think that some magic herb or pill is going to save us when we have to be emancipated spiritually from the bondage of another world. And where our truth has come from. Thank you so much. My first thought was being transferred from one ownership to the other. But as I talked to this sister, we do need to emancipate ourselves from so, I'm looking forward to Emancipation Day. Because any a constant thing on their mind is to free themselves, even though they couldn't, but they tried anyway. He's talking around with himself. And once you understand where you are, and when you're really trying to go, and you find yourself trying to do your own nut, do your own self. Okay. Mental, Day. I would say, would deal with the mind. So you're going to have to attack your mind at first to escape from that type of uh, uh, living. And this is in the mindset. And then you said you have to do it medically. That, and also push that mind up to a higher vibration. So we decide that we can acknowledge that there's a mechanical system in place. It starts with the medical profession, as we know it, and they're attached to a bigger system. I believe we're conscious, but there's a lot of years. It's been a journey of self-discovery, and by learning about yourself, about emancipation, mental slavery, is how not by anybody else, and you have to be responsible for being in tune to the divine creator. Thank you very much. The challenges that they may have gone through to bring us to the point uh, where we are. Wow. We're going to start. Um, I'm always trying to emancipate myself from, from the oppressor. Whoever they call Asked. From. Because it's most important because, you know, God has given Correct us. our mental situation we are today. And I think we've been given a, a bunch of false drugs or they are going to be on this. Now we have a, a wellness about Your spiritual being, your light beings. And that's what all of us are. And when it's our light shine, we cannot get sick. Let that look sun rays. The sun rays just don't discriminate. It shine on everybody. Correct? Correct. Right. It don't discriminate because I'm gonna shine on you. No, I'm gonna shine oh, on you. Yeah. No. That's distortion. Mm. And I said, Well, how long would I have to take the medication? He said for the rest of my life. And I said, oh. Combination of a 30 year uh, career. Mental, spiritual, physical, and any other kind. Um, I could not be uh, who I am in terms of the work that I do in the unity. Uh, having an opportunity to become linked in change, this is another day. So, from the various ailments or various illnesses that are affecting us as a whole. You know, and it starts with us individually. We're living in a time and age where 
enough truth has come forth that is so vital at this time that we're living. Too many of us are hooked on prescription meds or this society. In its infant state throughout the universe. The reason is, I believe at this time, uh, their families, their loved ones. Consciousness level. And it comes back to what are we putting in our minds, what are we putting in our mouths, what are we putting on our bodies, what are we putting in our hearts.